So today I want to show you a few useful tips in VC VREC that you might not know of and that might improve your workflow. And by the way, you can find these tips and many more in my introduction to VC VREC 2 series of videos, which is totally free or pay what you want. So you can just go through it and get a good foundation of how to technically use VC VREC. And the first tip is tuning oscillators to musical notes. Now, if you watch my videos, you probably know this already, but any oscillator that can be tuned by frequency or hertz can be set to musical intervals. So under the view menu, if you have um, show tooltips on and you hover with the mouse over the frequency control, you can see if it's tuned by Hertz, right? If it does, you can right click it and enter any note you want. So by default, the, uh, this oscillator is tuned to C4. If I want it to be tuned to G2, I just enter G2. Right, enter, and you can see on the tuner that uh, there that now it's tuned to G2. This works also with sharps and flats. So let's say I want this to be F sharp three. Right, so again, right click it. F sharp is hashtag and then three. Right, and then it's tuned to F sharp three. And with flat, we just have to enter a lowercase b. So here I have the classic VCO from Serge XT. Again, you can tune it by Hertz. So I right click the pitch control and let's say I want this to be a flat five. So I enter a lowercase b for flat and then five. And then we have it tuned to a flat five. And this will work with other modules that can be tuned by frequency. For example, LFOs, you see again, it's tuned by frequency if I, or by Hertz. If I right click it and I want this to be tuned to C4, I enter C4. The same with filters. Here I have a self oscillating filter. Let's say that I want this to be again F sharp one, let's say. So I enter F, hashtag for sharp and one. And this includes also filter banks. Here I have the PEC 6 from Bogo Audio. Right, you can see the frequency here of uh, the different filters we can tune by Hertz. So if I right click it, I can enter C6, let's say for the first one, then G3, and then let's say F1, and so on and so forth. A similar tip is tuning steps on a sequencer to musical notes or musical intervals. Many sequencers let you set the voltage level of each of the steps. You can see in the tooltips here it says zero volts but also here we can enter specific notes just by adding uh, the letter v at the end so for example i want this to be every four steps i want c d e and f so the second step i right click it i enter d and then lowercase v after it and then we have here e right and then we have f Right, and now the steps of the sequencer are tuned to these intervals. Right, so you can go step by step and set the notes that you want. And this will work with any sequencer that can be set with volts. And another tip you might not know about is that we can enter even mathematical expressions. So here I have two VCOs, one of them is tuned to C4, but I'm uh, using FM here. So really C4 is not uh, where it should be, right? I had to tune it to C4 manually um, because again, I'm using here FM. So if I want to take this, for example, down an octave, I cannot just enter C3 because C3 is no longer C3, right? Let me show you this, right? C3 now is uh, between F and G, but I can divide the frequency by two and get an octave down. So I right click it, I leave the frequency where it is, then backslash two, so divided by two, and then we have an octave down. We can also multiply it, so if I go back to C4, again, right click, leave the frequency where it is, now we just enter a star, so multiplied by two, and now we have an octave up. Right, so definitely explore this if you find this uh, kind of workflow interesting. But moving on to other tips, let's say that you have multiple cables connected to one output right here, as you can see. I have six cables connected to the CV1 output and you want to move them to a different output. Of course, you don't have to go one by one and move them. If you right click this uh, port, you have all the way down all cables. You just click and grab it and then you have all the cables connected and you can just move all cables at the same time. Another tip that I wish any software had is the ability to keep the context menu open. So many modules have options in the right click menu, right? And you want to switch between them, but you have to open the menu over and over. For example, here I want to switch between the different modes and experiment with the different sounds, but the menu keeps closing. 
So all you have to do is hold control, probably it's command on Mac, and it will keep the menu open. Right, I just hold control and I can move and select the different menus or the different options in the menu. Right, and the menu stays open. Another great tip is copy paste for parameters. Here, for example, I have two filters in parallel and I want them to have the same settings. So they are already set up, but let's say that one, now I want to change one of them. Right, I want to change this here and I want the second oscillator to have the same settings. Of course, I can remove it, right, and then duplicate the one that I have, but then I have to make all the connections again. But I can just copy paste the settings. So for example, again, I will make some changes. I hover with the mouse um, over the filter, hit Ctrl C, and then hit Ctrl V on the other filter and you see the parameters or the settings were copied. And we even have stackable inputs in VCV. Right, so here I have a filter modulated by an LFO. You can see this here on the scope. And I want to add also smooth random modulation to this, right? Instead of using a mixer before the cutoff input here, I can just send the output. In this case, I will sum it on the scope so we can see the result. Right, and now the LFO and the random signal will be summed together without uh, the need to use a mixer. Right, and this works also with triggers and gates. So here I have a steady uh, sequence from the SEC3. Right, steady triggers and then uh, triggers with probability. So I can just sum them at the input. Again, in this case, it's going to be the scope. Right, so no need for any external modules or additional modules. And that's it. Like I said, check out the introduction to VCV Rec, sort of mini course that I have. It's totally free. Or again, pay what you want. I hope this video was somewhat helpful. Thank you for watching. Cheers.